Yo, what's up guys, the Goblin, and today we're to have for you guys a pretty fast Tar-21 nuke on the map Favela. So basically, yesterday I uploaded a nuke on Afghan, and that video went over so well. You guys were showing mad love on that video, so I decided, you know, why not uh, throw up another nuke for you guys. I think you guys will enjoy this one. This is a really good one using the Tar-21. I'm using the same perk setup. I'm using the Scavenger, uh, Stopping Power, and Sit Rep. And if you guys do like the MW2 videos, make sure to drop a like on this one. And as well, I will leave the link to, uh, or the, and I'll leave it in the description and an annotation on the screen. So you can check out the nuke I uploaded yesterday if you guys haven't seen that as well. So basically my killstreak setup, and I said this in my last video too, the best killstreak setup in my opinion for going for nukes is running the Pavlo AC-130 and the nuke. I got, you know, quite a few nukes today just running this sort of setup. I played, played like MW2 like all night. It was a lot of fun. But running this sort of setup is a lot easier for me than the Harrier. Because, you know, people usually say, like when you get the Harrier, brings you to the nuke. Nah, when you get the, I don't really think so. I've seen so many, like, like, look, the enemies have a Harrier right now and they don't get a nuke. You know, I see so many Harriers up in the sky, but I really think that the Pavlo AC-130 and nuke gives you your best odds of getting it once you get to that first kill streak. And sure, it can be hard. Basically, in this game, what I do is I patrol this middle area and do some nice work on it. So basically, MW2, you know, after playing it quite a bit for the last few days, this game could have been the best Call of Duty ever by far. It's just, you know, there's just a few mistakes. And to be honest, why why Call of Duty doesn't, like, just take out the noob tubes or even take out, you know, like, all they had to do to fix this game, in my opinion, was they did just take out Danger Close and add Flak Jacket. That's all they had to do. Just make a quick little switch there, take out Danger Close, add Flak Jacket, and that would have made this game so much better. I mean, obviously the game wouldn't have been perfect. No Call of Duty's perfect. I mean, there's still... What is their Commando, Painkiller, Marty Dom? I mean, there's a bunch of bullshit in this game. But basically, here I get the Pavlo, and then I just wait for the AC-130, and that's what you should do. Just, you know, wait a second for the AC-130, then call it in, and bada-bing, bada-boom, you got your nuke to nuke the enemies. And getting the nuke in this game is, like, really fun. Like, to be honest, when I get a gameplay in Black Ops 2, like a nuclear or something, you know, like, my, I'm pretty excited, and my heart may be racing a little bit, but it's not the same as, like, when I get this nuke, um... You'll see in the game how I celebrate. It's pretty funny, but you know when I get the nuke, it just my heart goes racing a little bit, and it's just a lot of fun to be able to know that you can end the game with a certain kill streak rather than just getting a title to pop up on your screen. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to drop a like on it. Maybe we can even go for 3,000 likes. That's a lot of likes to go for. I think if we push for it, we can do it, and uh, I believe in you guys. Let's push for 3,000 likes on this video. L drop a like, and as always, subscribe for Cookie. I'm out. Peace.